And while I'm on Media Watch, I had to watch it last night, there was another funny little piece on the show that shows how the bias of these green left journalists leads them down the garden path. They got the rise of Donald Trump wrong, you'll remember. They all said he wouldn't win in 2016. Then they said that he wouldn't even get close in 2020. They got Brexit wrong. And, of course, they all got the last federal election wrong too. And last night they continued their fake news explanation, blaming all their errors, not on their bias or on their ineptitude, but on the polls. But can we trust the pollsters anymore? And should the media believe them this time around? In 2019, the big five national polls all predicted a Labor win. Well, all the polls had Labor ahead, but anyone with any understanding of how polls work and the issues at play in the various states knew the coalition was in with a strong chance right up to election day. The reality is that the Green left journalists barracked for what they wanted, not what the data and debate suggested. Who could forget them? I'm not as confident as Mr 86 seats over here. I said 80, here. just no. to be clear. 86. You're trying to verbal me already, we've just started. <laughs> I heard 86. Did you hear 86? I heard 86. I heard 86. I heard 86. I heard 86. <laughs> Everyone um, heard 86. I heard 80, cos I like to be <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, No, I'm not, I'm not nearly that confident, but I, I'm expecting it to fall around 81 or something. I'm basing that on things I've heard from people who should know, that there's kind of a baseline, I think, for Labor of about 77, 78. Uh, look, the overnight tracking that, that I've been given um, on on both sides, going back, though, to Wednesday, uh, suggests that, it, that, that the Labor Party could get to that magic number 76 relatively comfortably and quite quickly. And then there are about 12 or 14 seats that I understand is separated by about 1%. Uh, the, the, the coalition seems to be in front in, in the majority of those, but Labor would only need to win a handful of those contests and the result could be something like, um, you know, the, 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 the head count, something, or the vote count, something like um, Labor in the 80s and the Coalition in the 60s. Yeah, they all picked who they wanted to win and they missed the result and they missed it by a big margin, by 10 seats or more. And who could forget their despondency, their de desperate attempts to pretend that everyone had made the same mistakes? So, time to bring in the panel now. Nikki Saba, David Crow, and Patricia Carvellis. And... Uh... Well, it seems everybody accepts it was a miracle, which means nobody saw it coming. <laughs> yeah, just a blatant lie, and they continue with this rot to this day. Plenty of people relying on the same data, reading the same polls, saw it coming. Plenty outside the ABC and the rest of the love media. This doesn't feel like a national campaign in the sense that there's a national swing on. I go back to previous elections. You can feel the swing in 07. I could feel the swing coming in late in 2004. I remember well the swing in 2001. It's not like that now. This will go down to the wire in all of these seats that you've picked out. I love these moments because we can replay this in about nine months and as usual. Troy will be wrong, Rowan will be right. This is the classic. <laughs> Mark my words. Virtually everything Troy Bramston just said is incorrect. You are wrong. The Liberals are going to win the next election. Labor are not cruising to victory. Labor are cru cru cruising to defeat. The majority of commentators will tell you a shot and victory is a certainty next weekend. But it's not. Yeah, Paul Murray said the result was far from an in inevitable. Alan Jones said the coalition would win. Dennis Shanahan at the Australian, I think, was all over it. And even right at the end, uh, when the polls were so close uh, on the last night, I said here yeah, that uh, the shy Tory factor could get the uh, coalition across the line. But ABC viewers, they were all misled, not by the polls, but by ABC journalists who either couldn't interpret the information or more likely just fell victim to their wishful thinking, which makes this wrap-up from Paul Barry last night very amusing indeed. So, it's worth bearing all that in mind before you run off to the bookies with your hard-earned cash. Or get your hopes up or down. Yeah, that's the closest you get to balance at the ABC's Media Watch. Barry pretending that we don't know whether the current polls have got his hopes up or down. <laughs> it's just like the fake independents, isn't it? Pretending they don't care who forms government.